So welcome back friends and family. Yeah, what you see is not a mirage. Today we're gonna to be working on Hope and getting her started. Since the last time we met, we've run into a couple of issues. First one was that the manifold needed to be replaced. Had a tear in it, so that's been replaced. The second issue that sprung up was I needed a valve adjustment. That's been done also. So in working on the pocket bike, the scooter, and countless other things that nobody cares about, when I was working on tuning my car, I ran into a number of cold start issues that in turn helped me burn out my starter. Now, of course, we have a new starter here to replace it, but before we do that, I wanted to test the theory and see if we're able to start this bike up with a high power drill. So stay tuned and let's find out. So before we even start, let's talk a little bit about the drill. I just purchased it from Amazon to do this application. As a person that's been working on cars for over 20 years, I find that there's no easier way to break your wrist torquing a rusty bolt than with a drill. So I use impact guns. This particular procedure, I was forewarned to stay away from the impact gun because it'll only tighten the bolt. So I purchased this high torque drill for $30 off Amazon with a top speed of 3,000 revolutions per minute. So it should turn this small engine with no problem. So the process can be done one of two ways. It can be done either on the flywheel side or can be done on your CVT side. Now before doing this, you want to know the rotation of your engine. On most Chinese scooters, this fan will turn counterclockwise and your flywheel will turn clockwise. All right, just so you know, I am skeptical that this is gonna work. I've seen other videos on them doing it with ease, but it's not normally how it goes with me. So this is a real world application. I have not done this ahead of time. We're gonna see if it works. Just so you know, I have my ignition in the start position. I don't think it's necessary, but I do have my brake pulled in. And here we go. So that was a big time fail. And from what I'm seeing now, I have an obstruction in the engine. So this will serve as an update to where we are in the process, but I'm gonna do a complete engine teardown that I'm most likely not gonna film. I'll go ahead and update you guys to the progress and what I found to obstruct the engine. Hopefully we don't have a broken crank. I'm really hoping for just an obstruction in the head because I have a new head that I need to put on here anyway. But just an update. So I'll see you guys a little bit later. And again, no worries. We should be back on the road soon. Talk to you guys then. Peace.